Lydia, welcome back. How you been? You may be wondering, Lily, where have you been? It's been five months. I thought you died. Wow, my little high-pitched friend, I have started the magical journey of university and what a roller coaster it has been let me tell you you may remember that i was planning on studying interior design in fact i did a whole video about my portfolio and what i did to get into the course due to some circumstances i am no longer studying interior design which i'll get into later I'm now a film student <laughs> Now we all know 2020 wasn't the best of years. I remember in January when everyone was all doe-eyed and hopeful for the year and everyone thought the year would go like this. But in actual fact, it turned out like this. Yeah, what, what was that all about? fingers crossed this year will go better. I think maybe the only one good thing about 2020 was that I started university. Although obviously I haven't had the usual university experience. For example, Freshers was all online. That was interesting. The normal university life where you're around people constantly 24-7 actually getting to go to campus. I've been to campus three times whilst I've been there. I've been there for three months. Been there three times. What the heck? <laughs> Although I have met some of the most amazing people so far so I'm very grateful for that. But I would like the proper university experience but I'm sure I'll get to experience it soon. I mean we're currently not allowed back. That is why I'm in my old room. One good thing about my university is that I go to university in Cornwall now so my accommodation is literally a 10 minute walk from the beach so I can't complain although my time at university hasn't always been evening walks along the beach and sunsets and everything else you get to do on the beach <sighs> I found it really hard when I first started university I felt like I had made such a big mistake and all I wanted to do was go home in the first couple of weeks. Like I'd spend my days just crying in my room, which is really sad. Um, thinking back, it gives me PTSD now. But obviously, as you can tell, I'm a lot happier. I survived my first term, so I didn't drop out. So that's a good thing. Although I have met some of my best friends on the interior design course, it just wasn't what I expected. If you didn't know, I studied interior design on an online course with the National Design Academy a year, I think it was a year, or maybe it was a year and a half. Before I started uni, I did an interior design course because I hadn't done any art subjects at school and I just wanted that in my portfolio to show that I have an interest in it. But once I got to university, it just wasn't what I expected. And I found, shut up. The interior design course wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I felt like I made a horrible mistake and that I was going to have to study it for three years and not enjoy myself at all, which wasn't the case as you know. I'm pretty sure most universities have this option. In the first three weeks, I think it is, you have this thing called a transfer window, which allows you to change courses if you're not happy with what you've chosen in the first place, which for me was not happy. I wanted to go home. And when I was applying to university, it was, also, it was always a toss up between interior design and film my two biggest interests and I was like well if I'm not happy doing interior design why don't I just change like there's no point in studying something if I'm not going to enjoy it for the three years that I'm there so that's what I did I think it took about a week to change over once I decided that I wanted to change and all the lecturers were super nice about it and I think it was honestly the best decision I've ever made. I am so in love with this course. 
even though I've only ever met one of my course mates who is one of my best pals um I just love this course so much the lecturers are so funny and they're so welcoming and I just love it I just talk about films all the time <laughs> so my point is for this video is I know that in a couple of months people will be starting university again and I just want to say that if you feel like you've made a massive mistake it's not the end of the world you can change your course and you never know you might find something that you really enjoy which you never even expected to study so there's always options for you to change and it's gonna be okay i would say stick at your course for at least two weeks it might just be the nerves and the anxiety of moving away from home but if you after those first two weeks you find you're still not enjoying the course speak to someone whether it's your tutor your student mentor your friends or even back home just talk to your parents whoever looks after you just talk to someone and you can get through this i did loving university now even though we're not allowed back but can't wait <laughs> so i hope this video is helpful to those who will find themselves in a bit of a crisis if you ever want to message me my socials are always in the description so i'm up for new friends please someone talk to me i need friends i hope you have all enjoyed this video if you have make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will see you soon i promise this time i'm gonna be back <laughs> you'll be back soon you'll see you remember you belong to me